Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here from MortgageMarketingCoach.com, coming at you live from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about something that I think drives deep to the core of the pain for a lot of mortgage professionals. And that is how to stop being at the mercy of your realtors and take total control of your pipeline. How to stop being at the mercy of these realtors who often make lofty promises, but in many cases, they end up being empty. True, they make promises, and next thing you know, your livelihood, your family's livelihood, your ability to provide for your family is dependent on whether these people actually send you referrals. You're at the mercy of their whim, their motivation, and their commitment to send you business. How much does that suck? Like, think about for that, that for a moment. What sucks the most about being at the mercy of these real estate agents who in many cases either have fluctuations due to market conditions, inventory, their pipeline, their motivation. And in some cases, it's just entirely due to their mindset. Sometimes maybe they have a spouse they're having issues with, they're having turbulence. There's all kinds of drama and trauma. Next thing you know, they're completely unmotivated. They're dragging their butt through the day. They're just trying to survive, let alone thrive. And your income is inextricably linked to their motivation. And if their motivation tanks, what happens to your income? It tanks with it. How much does that suck to not have control, to be worrying where your next deal is going to come from, to have your spouse or significant other worried about spending money, not being able to plan ahead because the pipeline is so precarious and inconsistent. How much does that suck to be putting that strain and that pain on your loved ones? That is really just the tip of the iceberg of the cost of having a business model and a marketing system and a marketing strategy that puts you at the mercy of these real estate agents that don't care as much as you, that aren't as committed as you are, who in many cases are not as ambitious as you are, who are not as motivated as you are, and now your income is dependent on these people, right? That ain't right. There's got to be a better way, and indeed there is. But actually what it inspired me to have this conversation with you about being at the mercy of realtors and how to take control of your pipeline once and for all is I was talking with a client yesterday, and she was telling me about how her income had been going up consistently over the last three months or rather the last three years. And yet her pipeline took a very steep decline over the last two months. She has one fifth of her normal, normal pipe in December. She's got nothing for January, nothing for February. Perhaps you can relate to that. And people will chalk it up and blame the market. Well, it's a slow season, right? And so we soften it by blaming it on the market. Meanwhile, there's people who are kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum in these so-called slow seasons. So I don't buy that. It ain't about the market, it's your marketing. So she came to me and she's really fearful and worried and she had this perennial consistent angst every day kind of in the background of just feeling like I cannot plan ahead. I don't even know how much money I'm gonna make next month or the following month. And I have total uncertainty and that freaks me out. And now I'm coddling these few deals in the pipeline, hoping none of them implode because if they do, my ability to provide for my family is undermined. Maybe I can't even pay my mortgage because one of these deals blows up, right? Some of you can relate to that. The constant fear and angst of that, the uncertainty of that, it freaking sucks, right? And so she was coming to me and telling me about how she's feeling this angst, this worry, this uncertainty, being at the mercy of these realtors who aren't sending him as much, nearly as much business. And she's been trying to book these appointments with realtors and they're not giving her the time of day or she's booking them. She's making the appointments, she's doing the appointments, but she's just making friends. She's not making real solid partnerships. So she's spending the time, the energy, the money to book the appointment, to show up for the appointment, to spend money on coffee and tea and cookies and lunch. And the realtor is happy to get a freebie, a free meal, a free lunch. Who says there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? For the realtor, it's a free lunch. But then they're making all these promises about, hey, yeah, you know, if I have an opportunity, I'll definitely send you a deal. Nothing. She did 
eight appointments, nothing, not a single referral, not a single partnership, not a single meaningful relationship established. Some of you perhaps can relate to this, right? So what is the solution? Is it just grinding harder and longer? Is it just making more outbound calls, making more cold calls, booking more appointments? Is it just throwing more yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks? You just got to work the law of large numbers and hoping that eventually something's going to happen. You know, is that what the solution is? I don't think so. If that was a solution, then you'd already have your breakthrough because chances are you've already made plenty of phone calls, done plenty of appointments, and it ain't panning out. Chances are doing it the same way is just going to get you the same result. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. I don't know about you. I'm not insane. You're not insane. We're not about to get insane. It's about getting paid. And getting paid means we need to start working smart instead of just working hard. So working harder and longer and grinding it out obviously is not the solution. So I asked her, I said, is it possible that one of the reasons why you're doing all these appointments and you're not making solid partnerships is because you don't have a kick-ass unique value proposition that makes you irreplaceable and indispensable and has these realtors put you on their speed dial, making you their exclusive, sending you all their business all the time. Is that possible? She's like, absolutely. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I want. And that's precisely what we do for our clients. We teach you how to get the words that work that will book the appointment. And then we teach you the rebuttals to overcome pretty much any objection you can possibly imagine that a realtor will throw your way to, I already have a lender. I'm already happy with my lender. I'm already married to my lender. I'm good. I'm not interested. Whatever it takes. We'll give you the words that work that literally obliterate any objection they might throw your way. But in the case of this client, that was not her problem. She had no problem getting appointments. Her problem was when she did the appointments, she was showing up as completely replaceable, as a commodity. Great rates, great service, great personality, but who freaking cares? That's not enough to get them to switch, is it? We got to give them such a kick-ass value proposition that they'd be crazy not to want to give you at least a shot. Right. So we show you, we teach you how to get that unique value proposition and how to have it so compelling that they would not even consider if they have two brain cells to rub together and an ounce of ambition. They would not even consider saying no to such an irresistible value proposition. They'd be crazy not to at least give you a shot. So we teach you how to do the initial meeting so that you elicit trust so that you build rapport, so that you find out what their hot buttons are, what their pain points are. And then we don't try to give them a sip of the fire hose and sell them on all your awesomeness in the first meeting. No, we're just building trust. We're just listening. We're just connecting. We're finding out what's important to them. What are they struggling with? And then in the second meeting, that's where we seduce them into a solid, committed, loyal VIP partnership. So I teach you how to do that VIP partnership presentation so that they're all over you like white on rice and they commit to doing business with you and sending you all their business all the time, making you their exclusive, working on your terms, not theirs. That's what I'm talking about. It's called they need you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script, right? And so it's all about the right strategy. Even if you have a half-ass execution, but you have the right strategy, you'll be far better off than having perfect execution with a flawed strategy. And so often that's your problem, friends, is that you have a flawed strategy and you're busting your hump doing it the hard way, banging your head against the wall and you're wondering why it's not working. It's because your strategy is flawed. You're cold calling realtors. We show you how to automate that whole process. So instead of cold calling them, we load the list of top producing realtors, not bottom feeders, not whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors. We're talking about the top dogs who have the lion's share of the inventory, who have the lion's share of the market, who have the lion's share of the buyers. When they say jump, the client says how high. They don't ask the client to work with their partner, their lender partner. They tell them they have that kind of club. They have that kind of iron-fisted control and influence with their clients. 
We go after the top dogs. We don't mess around with the bottom feeders. We work with the top dogs because you deserve to work with the top dog if you have a kick-ass value proposition. You guys with me on that? You don't deserve it just because you have a pulse and can fog a mirror and call yourself a mortgage professional. You deserve it because you have a kick-ass value proposition that no one else even comes close to, right? Now you're in a position to pick and choose who you work with. They're not interviewing you. You are interviewing them. Now you've got the cookie. You know what I'm talking about? That's the way to do it. That's the only way to do it. As far as I'm concerned, that's the only way to play. And so what we're doing now is we're positioning you to be able to not only get those appointments, but to be able to get them without a single cold call. Some coaches out there, so-called mortgage coaches, will get you doing it the hard way, smiling and down every Monday to the same realtors with the same lame-ass value proposition, and you wonder it doesn't work. You wonder why it doesn't work. These realtors are getting pounded with the same pitch from all of the same loan officers every freaking Monday. And you wonder why it ain't working. Well, wonder no longer. It's called doing it the hard way. And that's what most, if not all of these so-called mortgage coaches are telling loan officers how to do. You guys are being fed a steady diet of bullshit. It doesn't freaking work. And you know it and I know it. That's why you're listening and watching right now. There is a better way. It's called 21st century technology, friends. Stop doing it the hard way. Use technology. So we automate the process. I got a client who uploaded the top 75 realtors in his market. He made a mistake. He was trying to upload the bottom 75, but he got it twisted somehow. And he uploaded the top 75. He was going to use the bottom 75 so he could cut his teeth and build some confidence and competence and figure it out before he messes it up with the top dogs. Well, he messed it all up and got it twisted and uploaded the top 75 to our automated system. And he booked five appointments, five appointments, friends, in three days without a single cold call with top dog real estate agents. He still has three of those five as rock solid VIP partners, sending him all the business all the time, making him the exclusive lender. And he's a newbie with less than a year of experience. That, my friends, is working smart instead of just working hard. Now, you guys can work hard all you want. If you get giddy out of that and you get kicks out of that, by all means, feel free. Knock yourself out. I don't know about you. As far as I'm concerned, there's no brownie points in the bank for working longer and harder for your money. So why not take the shortest path to the cash? Why not pick the low-hanging fruit? Why not work smart instead of working hard? Why not warm up the knife before you start to try to carve up the frozen block of butter so it's like a hot knife through butter just melts and instantaneously and you just slice through it like nothing. See, I'm all about working smart. I'm not about working hard grinding just for the sake of grinding. Screw that. Let's make green. Let's not just grind. Let's make some green. Let's stack some paper. Let's make things happen. Let's kick ass, take names, chew bubble gum and crush results. Shortest path to the cash. You guys with me on that? So this is how you gain control of your pipeline. You need to have a system to be able to generate leads independent of your realtors so that you can feed your VIP partners with quality leads so they stick to you like super glue. If they don't reciprocate, you simply fire them and replace them. Simple as that. Now you've got the cookie. Now you're in the power position. You need to be able to generate your own leads, friends, and use that as ultimate super bait for attracting top dog realtors. And that's just the beginning. Some of you guys, you've tried that. You've done different things out there. There's lots of programs out there that will teach you that. The problem is they teach you how to sit on a one-legged stool. They teach you how to have a one-trick pony show. And the problem with that is if the leads don't pan out or whatever reason, the realtors don't follow up the leads, they don't convert them, and you're riding on that one-trick pony, guess what? That pony's dead. You're dead. You sit on a one-legged stool, and that one leg gets kicked out. You're on the floor feeling miserable, embarrassed deflated, defeated, dejected, because it didn't work. That's doing it the hard way. The way we do it, we don't give a rat's ass how many of these Facebook leads or whatever leads convert, because we use it to just get the appointment. And then we have such a full quiver of kick-ass unique value ads beyond just leads that even if the leads don't convert, we've got so much awesomeness to bring to the table, so much unique value to bring to the table, so much, so many wicked, awesome 
wicked effective arrows in my quiver that I can add value to the realtor with, that it doesn't really matter if one of those arrows isn't panning out or one of those arrows isn't a be all and end all because I've got a full quiver of kick ass, unique value that I'm bringing to those realtors every single week, every single time I connect with them, I'm adding more and more value. Every time we meet, I'm fortifying and cementing the fact that I am the only logical choice because I provide so much value, so much innovation, so much systemization, so much automation, so much kick-ass strategic partnership value, they wouldn't even think about going anywhere else. It's called a power Parthenon of awesome, as opposed to a one-legged stool. The Parthenon has survived through the ages, through the storms, through wars, through all that for over 3,000 years. Why? Multiple pillars, multiple pillars, not relying on a one trick pony, a one legged stool. And the reason why a lot of you guys are frustrated with trying to reach out to realtors and add value is you're sitting on a one trick pony, one legged stool proposition. And if it doesn't pan out and if it's not perfect or the realtors don't follow up those leads, you're screwed because if they don't get jacked and stacked about the one thing you offer, you got nothing else, right? It doesn't matter if you have great rates and great service. Who cares? That's a minimum expectation. They expect that from you just because you show up, you have a pulse, you can fog a mirror, and you call yourself a mortgage professional. That's minimum just to be in the game. That's nothing, especially when you're reaching out to the top dogs. That's nothing. you got to be bringing some kick-ass value, friends. If you don't bring kick-ass value, they're not even going to give you the time of day. And chances are you've already found that to be true. Correct? So that's how you guys get out of being the, at the mercy of these flaky, disloyal, in some cases, arrogant and apathetic real estate agents. And you take total control of your pipeline. You need to learn the secret sauce for generating and self-sourcing your own leads. You need to learn how to stack the awesome and be able to add so much unique value in such a diversified, robust way that you're no longer sitting on a one trick pony, one-legged stool situation, but you've got a robust stack of awesome. You got to learn how to get the appointments, how to do the appointments, and how to seduce these top dogs into becoming VIP partners. Not because you need them, but because they need you. Because Not because they're interviewing you, but because you're interviewing them. You've got the cookie. You're in the power position. You guys with me on that? That's the way to gain control over your pipeline. You just get half a dozen Maybe five, maybe six top dog realtors sending you a deal or two a month that changes your freaking life. Do the math on it, right? You get half a dozen top dog realtors sending you two deals a month. You're making multiple six figures, in some cases, even more than that, just from one or two realtors, let alone six, let alone 10. When you do the math on it, when you get a real deal player, it doesn't take much to push, push the needle and to change your life. You guys with me on that? So it's all about going narrow, deep, and rich with an elite few instead of wide and shallow and skimpy with many. Why? Do it the hard way. Why run around like a chicken with your head cut off dealing with 50 different realtors or even 25? That's too many. How about six to 12 solid top producers sending you all their business? Game changer, right? It's simple. It's elegant. And you get to pick and choose who you work with. Work with people you actually enjoy, who you actually respect, who you actually appreciate, people you'd hang with on weekends, people you'd hang with and go to the bar with or whatever. Go and have a barbecue with them on a, on a beautiful summer's day with the family, like people that you call as friends, not just colleagues. You know what I'm saying? Like people that you really enjoy, that give you life, that give you energy. How awesome would that be to have a stable of kick-ass top dog real estate agents that you would call friends authentically? and genuinely, friends that you would have at your wedding, friends that you have at your funeral. Those are the kind of people you wanna surround yourself with. Build a tribe of kick-ass, awesome partners. Superstars only, that's the mantra you wanna write down. Superstars only. You do that, you're gonna not only have a whole lot more fun, you're gonna have a whole lot more funds in the bank account and a whole lot more fulfillment. So there you have it, friends. That's how you stop being at the mercy of lackluster, unmotivated, uncommitted, willy-nilly real estate agents, and you take total control of your pipeline. I hope you guys got value from this. 
I hope you guys got some insight that will be a game changer for you. If you'd like to learn more about how we can help you go from where you are to where you want to be, how we can give you the tools, the systems, the proven plan, the structure and support you need to make it a kick-ass epic year, your best year yet as we cross the threshold into another year. If you'd like to learn how to condense time frames and go straight to what works instead of banging your head against the wall, trying to reinvent the wheel, doing it the hard way, I invite you guys to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching call where we will lift up the hood in your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you'd like to be. And if we can help you get there, by all means, we will show you how. And if not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you're going to leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun as well. So if that sounds good to you, which it definitely should, I invite you to take advantage of it by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Doran Aldana, the Mortgage Marketing Coach, coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast, mortgagemarketingcoach.com. Now go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you will get massive results. Peace.